Alrighty folks, I know I've done a lot of discussion videos lately, but I have to correct something. I may have pulled the plug a little too, not pulled the plug, but I did the tier list video maybe a little too soon. I should have checked Twitter a little bit more in depth, I suppose, because today when I was searching it, I found this guy named Lutu, I believe. Yeah, Lutu, who posted this about Pokemon Home transfers. Now, as we all know, Pokemon Home got delayed, you know, big sad, but apparently, Transfer moves are somewhat coming back, and I, I went to read the language of the bill, right? And right here, this is this is the important part. You will be able to change the Pokemon details play. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. When <laughs> Here's the language of the bill that we're looking at. When bringing a Pokemon from Pokemon Home into a Link game, I'll scroll in for the viewers at home. You will be able to change the moves it knows from a list of moves it has learned up to that point. These moves are limited to moves that can be learned in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, some moves excluded, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. This will allow you to have your Pokemon know the moves you wanted to before moving it out of Pokemon Home. So, to me at least, and it seems like other people in the community are having this interpretation too, this reads as if that if a Pokemon has learned a move in Pokemon Sword for example, and then it doesn't learn the move in Pokemon Scarlet, you can still transfer the move from Pokemon Sword to Pokemon Scarlet. But if the Pokemon didn't learn the move in Pokemon Sword, so for example, Toxic on Garchomp, for example, you won't be able to bring over Toxic. But something like Triple Axle Weavile, you would be able to bring over. So that's kind of my interpretation of the bill. It seems like other people's is as well. So I want to talk about some of the mons that are going to be receiving the biggest butt from this and the main two things here that need to be addressed because the main thing is most tr most moves did get transferred over that's just facts there weren't that many moves that were really cut off but there were a few notable ones and the easiest one to point out is the isle of armor move tutor moves a lot of these moves didn't get transferred onto many mods at all um expanding force right now is only on armor rouge scale shot is only on i think it's only on rolling Municus. Uh, i don't think media, anyone has meteor beam missy explosion i don't think anyone has no one has grassy glide no one has rising voltage um flip turn is basically nifilap aka agent palafin dual wing beat salamance knows that no idea why but you know, salamance gotta keep it for some reason so the other list is the move shot moves from legends of arceus now there aren't that many moves really that are going to be affected by this but there, there there's at least one in particular i know of and there's probably more that i'm not thinking of but yeah we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it we'll talk about it but here's basically what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go over all the pokemon that will be the, that will be getting the biggest benefit from a transfer move coming back and then i will be re-looking at the tier list that i did the other day of OU viability, OU viability Pokemon, and we'll be we'll be editing this based off of the moves that we now know that are getting transferred. So, Raichu Alola, you guys know I'm a total simp for this mod. I think it's awesome that it had Surge Surfer and Rising Voltage last gen. It doesn't have that in this gen, but if the rumors are true, it will get Rising Voltage back, and this is pretty big for it. I mean, this is a 70 base power move that doubles in terrain. So it's a 140 base power stab move in electric terrain. And that's huge. And Pincurchin also gets rising voltage. So we could definitely see the re-rise of the electric terrain up in the higher tiers. Other than Ubers, of course. I mean, you always have Mariah in there. But like, you know, Pincurchin electric terrain. You could, We could start seeing that in maybe the higher tiers. Maybe it'll get out of PU, which would be great. But... Yeah, Raichu Alola will actually have somewhat of a niche with this combination now. Rillaboom, Rillaboom's a huge one. Uh, and this is the talk of the town. We have Grassy Glide coming back, which would be huge for it. Um, Grassy Glide is what made Rillaboom OU last generation. It's what makes this thing so strong. Uh, Rillaboom would also be getting superpower. Right now in Gen 9, Rillaboom apparently doesn't learn superpower, but it got it through a TR. I think it was a TR. It was either a TR or a TM last generation in Sword and Shield. So it'll be regaining access to that, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, this will make Grassy Glide have more semblance in the OU tier. You're going to have to probably build around Rillaboom a little bit because this thing is scary with Grassy Glide, man. Carbink. 
I only bring up carbon not because I actually think it's going to have any sort of assemblage or usage or importance, but <laughs> not to dunk on my carbon fans at all. But I did want to bring it up because I did talk about it a lot and I was like, oh, it lost Misty Explosion, but it got Spike, so that's cool. But it does, it will regain Misty Explosion, which makes it better as a set up a trick room and die immediately kind of Pokemon. Um, so yeah, you, you can force yourself to gain the momentum back of your opponent, just start setting up. You can miss the explode yourself and switch into something else. Whereas before you are kind of like stuck in an awkward position, body press is still going to be good. You might even run, I mean, you might not even run Missy explosion, man, but you know, it's, it's there. It's there as an option. Um, next three, I want to talk about the Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno trio because they did learn defog in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. Now, if we look at the language of this bill, some moves are excluded apparently. So we don't, we literally do not know if these birds will get Defog back in Scarlet and Violet. But uh, let's just assume they do. They are very useful. Again, Moltres can just spread burns with Flame Body, Zapdos with Static. Articuno actually becomes a very viable. Um, Pokemon on snow teams in RU with Obama snow because of the ice boost plus it having defog which is huge because there's no hazard removal Articuno will definitely become an RU staple if it gets defog back from a brilliant diamond and shiny pearl but we literally do not know if it will get it back or not um, aside from this though Moltres will be getting scorching sands back which is pretty good on it uh, as if Heatran didn't have enough to worry about with eight fucking ground types, Scorching Sands does give it something to hit Heatran with, which is nice. So, yeah, I, I that this is the main reason I brought up the the three birdies is because of Scorching Sands. But then I realized Defog was learnable in BDSP. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if it gets def if the three birds get Defog. Um, expanding Force. So, like I said earlier. Expanding Force is exclusive to Armorers right now, but the Ndidi Twins will get Expanding Force back, um, assuming the language of this bill, of course, is read correctly, which is huge because, of course, you're not going to be running here, folks. You're going to be running Psychic Surge, and this is a very, very strong version of Psychic, basically. 80 base power gets boosted to 120 plus terrain boost. Uh, it's really strong, hard to switch into makes it a lot better on on psy spam teams uh not, i mean not not like oh my god it's gonna like take over the tier better but like indeed he's a much more satisfying pokemon to use with that gardevoir so y'all know i'm not a simp for gardevoir i'm a simp for the low pun you know so i'm not talking about the gardevoir because i think she's hot i'm talking about gardevoir because ice beam is a move one of the moves that it actually learned in Pokemon Let's Go Arceus. I'm not going to click on Ice Beam because my Chrome will literally crash. I was having problems with that earlier because so many Pokemon learn Ice Beam that all the sprites just crash Chrome for me. So we're not going to do that. But take my word for it, Gardevoir learns Ice Beam. I honestly don't know how much that helps it really, but you know, for shooting down a Landorus and OU, it could help with that. But I don't know. Aside from that, I think it's just an interesting tech. I don't know how much it'll actually be used, if at all, honestly, because it does. Because Psychic and Moonblast are just so good, and then Focus Blast for coverage. You might even you you might rather use Healing Wish in this slot anyway. So yeah, we'll see what we'll see if Ice Beam can find any semblance of a usage. But yeah, Decidueye, Poltergeist. So Poltergeist is a really cool move. Base 110 base power. Basically, you hit your opponent with their held item, which is really good because you scout your opponent to see what item they have. Also, it's just a really freaking strong ghost stab. And Decidueye gets it, and he's really good in UU right now. So that combined with Leaf Blade it makes it a pretty strong attacker. And I think this will be pretty huge for Decidueye getting him back. I don't think it's gonna run it on every set, but I do think it's at least an option for Decidueye. And it's a really good strong ghost stab, which if you can see, Decidueye does not exactly have right now. Spirit Shackle is really good, but you'd rather be running Poltergeist in nearly every single scenario anyway. So yeah, <laughs> Weavile. So Weavile will be getting Triple Axle back and 
Weavile actually will get Throat Chop back too. I didn't even know that Weavile lost Throat Chop, but apparently it cannot learn Throat Chop this generation. Why? I literally don't know. I don't understand it all. It makes no sense to me. So it'll be getting Throat Chop back. It'll be getting Triple Axle back. And yeah, these two moves will be very good for it. Um, Triple Axle will basically make it viable in the higher tiers again. And Throat Chop's just a very strong option. Much stronger than its alternative alternative option which right now is night slash which isn't terrible but it's not the best obviously you can even run loaded dice with weavile because triple axle has the mechanic we've already proven what triple axle will look like thanks to skill link chinchino actually funny enough so loaded dice will make triple axle only have the one initial accuracy check so it's no longer a 72 percent accurate move to hit all three it's now it's just a 90 percent flat rate you hit all three 100 percent of the time so yeah also just something i realized actually i'm gonna reread the language of the bill but i almost wonder limited moves to put one that can be learned i wonder if that's level up or if that's all of them i'm guessing it's all of them but uh, that's just some i want to get out there because if these pokemon don't get all these moves back i'm guessing that's the reason why anyway although that'd also be stupid because you really only would all the moves that learns you level up are probably the ones that still kept through the generations but anyway 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 <laughs> i'm getting ahead of myself dragonite multi-scale dual wing beat now the set gets completely walled by corviknight and corviknight's pretty good in this meta so i don't know why you would do this but dual wing beat is back, and if you want it, you can run it on Dragonite. It's a good flying stab. It just I just wouldn't recommend it because it loses a Corviknight. Bear skewed up. Bear skewed up lost a very good tool this generation in flip turn. It, it basically it's one thing that it could have done better than Flotzel is flip turning out. Because we all know Flotzel has wave crash and is just super spammable and yeah it doesn't it doesn't have that anymore so but or no sorry bear Scuda doesn't have that and it doesn't have flip turn anymore either but now it does have flip turn flip turn allows it to switch out it's base power 60 water type move makes it very scary because your opponent could just flip turn and get momentum and do a big chunk of damage to your pokemon in the process because in rain bear is that guy with the 123 attack and 136 speed stat so that's that'll be something to look out for i don't i still don't think bear skewed is getting out of uu especially because rain isn't really viable in ou right now but i mean you know maybe maybe bear skewed getting flip turn will be the reason people start running pelicanetic in ou again and then bear skewed just flies up with it anyway though our last pokemon here is scaled shot garchomp i saw someone in my comments golly i can't remember i apologize for forgetting your name but said that they missed that Garchomp lost Scale Shot, and it'll get it back. It'll get it back because it did learn it. It learned it in Scarlet and, and Sword and Shield, so it'll get it in Scarlet and Violet, and you can start running Double Dance Garchomp again. No longer are the days of two special attacking Hazard Set Garchomps. No, sir. We're running Double Dance like a real man again. Let's go. So yeah, those are the main. Th again, that's not all of them. Of course, there's more Pokemon that got their moves back but these are the, the the best examples of like this is this is a pokemon that's going to benefit the most from this move being back in the game so uh, aside from that i do want to go back and revisit my ou viability tiers because i do want to shift some things around with this information first of all raichu does get a niche again with weather and terrain because of electric terrain electric terrain is is an OU for a niche for a reason because there are all the corked up Pokemon right now, Quark Drive. So Raichu could benefit from that and therefore it will be a niche on weather and slash terrain. Rylaboom, I am gonna move up to oh, A tier or B tier? I don't know. Uh, I can even see it being A tier, honestly. This thing is so good with Grassy Glide, man. It's such a scary Pokemon. Hmm, I'm conflicted. Yeah, but with Gudra in the meta, Gudra in the meta, it can, it might not be as good. I don't know. I'm going to put it in A tier for right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it a high B tier. I'm going to put it like B plus. Moltres, I'm going to move out of C minus tier and put it up 
into B minus right in front of Decidueye Hizuian. In Zapdos, I'm going to move up to A, A right below your Shifu Rapid Strike. Um, who else? Articuno. Articuno, weather slash terrain. If, if there's a hail team, Articuno will be there for hazard removal. Uh, that's just my take on it. I, I, I stand by that 100%. <laughs> um carving doesn't change really much at all is there anyone else i'm missing here that will be of relevance now i don't think so i think that's all the pokemon here that are regaining moves really they're most of the pokemon i talked about today are pokemon that have already been in scarlet and violet they just don't have the moves that they should maybe i should make a tier list about that actually about like pokemon post home but that would be a lot of work man i don't know if i'm willing to do that so <laughs> for now we're just gonna stick with this one and yeah um the shorter discussion actually didn't end up being shorter all 16 minutes but yeah i just want i thought i should make this video to be accurate in my reporting on all this pokemon scarlet and violet stuff so let me know if there's any other scarlet and violet stuff i need i should do a discussion video about let me know um, leave it down below in the comments. I'd appreciate knowing. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We'll let you know when home gets a release date announcement. So, yep. Thank you all. And obviously I'll update this video's comment section and or description too. If this language in the bill gets more precise at any point in time. So yeah, thank you all again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.